White Island remains a volatile and dangerous place today. Rescue crews have continued to risk their lives to scour the ash-covered landscape for survivors, but so far there are no signs of life. Extraordinary footage of the rescue missions flown by helicopter crews minutes after the explosion have emerged, showing the challenging conditions they encountered. It was like um, like I've seen the, the Chernobyl miniseries, and it there was just everything was just blanketed in ash. It, there was a helicopter on the island that um, that had obviously been there at the time, with its rotor blades were off it. It's quite a shocking experience, I suppose, but we we have to try and put that to side for for now and, and get on with what we're doing. But it wasn't just the helicopter crews who were the heroes of this tragedy. Jeff Hopkins and his daughter Lilani, a geology student, were on the island and helped injured people onto a boat in the immediate aftermath of the eruption. Huge blistering and skin that's coming off, um, yeah, uh, from arms, legs, faces. Within the last hour, the police have said they've been unable to return to the island to look for the eight tourists who are still missing. We cannot put other people in jeopardy um, to go out there until we're absolutely certain that um, the island is actually uh, safe. Among those missing are the Langford family from Sydney, Anthony and Christine, and teenage children Winona and Jessie. There are questions now about whether tourists should ever have been allowed on an active volcano that many say was an accident waiting to happen. There will be bigger questions in relation to this event. These questions must be asked and they must be answered. Earlier, she met emergency crews involved in the rescue, her empathy shining through once again as New Zealand faces a moment of national tragedy. Hearses have been seen heading towards a temporary morgue set up at an airbase on the mainland. It's still too dangerous to recover all of the bodies from the volcano. Most of those on the island were from this cruise ship, the Ovation of the Seas. Today it left Taranga amid a solemn atmosphere. Well wishers all too aware that some passengers never made it back on board. Dam Rivers, News at 10.